the report for the first time put some numbers on a critical piece of the climate finance puzzle. How is climate change impacting financial markets? This report is a game changer. This report's important because for the first time it actually tries to quantify the impact of physical climate risk on sovereign debt. There is a clear correlation between climate vulnerability and the cost of capital for developing countries. Climate vulnerable developing countries have to pay higher uh, cost on their sovereign debt. Over the last 10 years, countries have had to incur additional interest rate costs of a whopping $40 billion. The role of the finance sector should be to provide the capital that will allow the countries to deal with the impacts of climate. Unless uh, the financial community does step up here, uh, there are going to be some significant knock-on effects. One of the things I'm most proud about in this report is that we shed light on there is hope. And the hope is, is that there are investments that can be made in resilience and climate adaptation that if they're properly recognized by financial market participants can make a real difference in mitigating these costs. What is needed going forward are a better set of policies both national and international that will help these countries deal with the risks. Everybody needs to be part of the solution to tackle the imbalance that currently exists in developing countries which are the poorest in the world facing the harshest burden from climate impact. More evidence is needed, more work is needed in this area, but I think we've provided an insight that's a good starting point.